So we are here today to talk about how our grounds have transformed over the past couple of years. We've had some little changes. So um, Arthur, can you think of some of the things that have changed over the past couple of years? Well, now we have a vegetable patch. Very good. What else can you remember? We have a race course. Yes. Anything else? We have an Easter garden as oh, well, yes, don't we? Yes, we have an Easter yes. garden. And we've made it really wildlife friendly. We've got some lovely little features in our garden, haven't we? Yes. Yeah. So one of the reasons we have decided to do some transformations in our grounds was that during the pandemic, we kind of became aware that there were lots of people in the community were walking through the grounds and they seemed to find it really beneficial to, to be there. They, um, people are walking their dogs, some families even coming and having picnics, um, even seen a few children learning to ride their bicycles. So we realised that this was actually a really valuable resource, not just for us, but for the community to come in. So we wanted to make a few changes to make it more welcoming and to let them also know that they were welcome because a few people were worried, oh, I'm sorry, am I supposed to be here? But actually they're very, very welcome. So we have a really dedicated group of people, don't we in Church Arthur, who volunteer? Yes, we do. Yes. There's one other thing though. Why are the grounds, why were the grounds so important to Sunday school after the pandemic? Well, we could finally get together again and play games. Yes, we're so fortunate that we had the grounds because it meant that when restrictions started to ease and lift, we weren't limited to Zoom again. We could get together and run around and play games, couldn't we, Arthur? Yes, we could. Which was great. It was such a benefit for our Sunday school to be able to do that, especially because they weren't able to meet with their friends in school. So that was nice. Mm -hmm. What sort of games do you like playing outside? Well, I enjoy playing Can't Cross the Red Sea and sometimes tag. Some of the old favourites. Mm -hmm. Yes, very good. Um, there's one other little thing that we did in our grounds following the pandemic. Can you remember what it was to do with Muddy Church? We had a fun outdoor activities where we went to different stations around the church grounds and did activities or learned about God or Jesus. Yes, we, did, we followed the Muddy Church Trail. So we, we've done a couple of Easter ones and I think we did one in autumn time. Was it in autumn when we did our Yes. And that was lovely because that was also not restricted to just us in St Mark's. That was open to the community. Um, anyone was welcome to come. I think we did them on a Saturday morning. And as Arthur said, we have different stations. So the Easter one was very good. Where was the final station? It was at an Easter garden hidden in, away at the back of the church. In the Easter garden. Yes, so we've had our lovely team of volunteers have created an Easter garden. Can you describe, Arthur, what it looks like? Well, it has three crosses. It has a um, vegetable, not a vegetable patch, a flower bed that was planted by the ch Sunday school. And it has a hole in the hill which represents a tomb. So one of the other things you mentioned, Arthur, is that we have a vegetable patch. Tell us about the vegetable patch. Well, it's four raised beds where we have potatoes, carrots, kale, and plenty of other things. And we've sold those vegetables. You harvest them and you sell them to our parishioners. And then what does the, where does the money go, can you remember? To, come to there? school in Kenya for school dinners. Yeah, we help with the feeding programme through CMSI. Um, and the children love it. And the parishioners are very generous with their money. And it's great for them to see how they need to share their resources. And um, it also helps them to, to look after the creation that God has given them. So it's teaching them lots of things. And I'd just like to finish by leading us in prayer. So let us pray. Almighty God, you alone can bring growth to your church. Send your Holy Spirit to give us wisdom in our planning, courage in our actions and power in our outreach. May we in our churches and parishes grow in spiritual commitment to you grow in numbers and in our service to the community. We pray for a new spring in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen.